we're about to, for the first time, live on air, slonk a raw egg. How are we going to do this, boys? Because the, the whole crew's got, all right, we got split screen. Fantastic. The crew is, uh, is very capable. All right, there it is. The beautiful raw egg. <laughs> the key to escape. Cheers, fellas, slonking the eggs. Slonk. A word that means to swallow greedily. <laughs> this is Rebel HQ. I'm Sandy Lovas. Infowars, the show that proves that right-wing conspiracy theories and bigotry will always find a platform despite causing real-world harm so long as it makes money, had a group slonk of raw eggs live on their show, and they didn't even charge extra for it. For the most part, slonking, raw eggs won't harm you. Except for when it does. You run the risk of ingesting salmonella. Getting food poisoning is no fun. At 3 a.m., you're worried you're going to die. By 6 a.m., you're worried you won't. For people with vulnerable health conditions, it could be deadly. People are running the risk of food poisoning for no real benefit. Nutrition-wise, there is just a teeny tiny difference between raw eggs and cooked eggs. Eating raw eggs is part of a new manosphere fad diet of eating raw meat. People who promote it claim it will make you more masculine, able to build muscles, that it's healthier, and it's the natural way our bodies were designed to eat food. Just like our ancestors. You know, the people whose life expectancy was 30. The right wing has gone completely new age with fad diets using the made-up science of it makes sense to me, while ignoring the risks in proven science. Also, some influencers can scam people out of money. What you see them eat is carefully selected organic meat, which is still risky, but less risky. And it's far more expensive than what the average person they're encouraging to do this can afford. The more bizarre the theories and miracle fix-alls, the more clicks they get. So I've been reading a lot about the benefits of raw liver. So I got raw bison liver, grass-fed, grass-finished. I didn't know if I could take a bite, I did. So then I cut it up in little pieces. Everyone says about a palmful, so I'm just gonna pretend it's carpaccio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Breakfast of champions. Hoping this will help me get pregnant. No, no, it won't. That's not how you get pregnant. You see, the way it works is a sperm has to encounter an egg, fertilize it, and implant on uterine wall, at which point in half of the U.S. you're no longer considered a person with rights. In some places, with some cultures, with some kinds of meat, eating it raw is done with little risk. But what we're seeing with this alt-right propaganda are people eating any kind of raw meat, even straight off the store shelves. They'll eat any part of the animal alleging it has magical nutritious value you can't find anywhere else. None of that is true. What is true is you run the risk of contracting all sorts of foodborne illnesses that range from mild to deadly. We got liver with breakfast, lunch, and dinner because liver is king. Look at this incredible femur. We're going to take all that pure marrow right out of it. Who needs vegetables when you can eat testicles? Eat your testicles, folks. Primals. And then we got a pound of some fresh ground ribeye. We got the real salad right here. These are pork rinds. There's seriously like no fiber in any of this food. How does he poop? Huh. No wonder these right wingers are so full of sh. Well, this is my last week here on Rebel HQ. More about that in a future video. But don't worry, I'm still making content for YouTube on my channel, Left of the Box, where you will find more of my charming takes on politics and other stuff, linked in the description box below. Don't forget to hit buttons and leave comments. Thanks for watching, and until next time, get informed, get involved.